Hi, it's Chris with the Wild Berry Patch, and this is day 27 of Wisdom and Praise, reading through the Psalms and the Proverbs. Today we have Psalm 27, Psalm 57, Psalm 87, Psalm 117, Psalm 147, and Proverbs 27. As Psalm 27 is just full of praises. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Now that's a go-to verse. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom should I be afraid? When the evil doers came against me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies stumbled and fell. There was a song um, many years ago that we sang to memorize those verses. One thing have I asked of the Lord, one thing do I desire, and that's to dwell in the house of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Verse four is another go-to verse to just memorize and sit down in your heart. Verse five lines up with Psalm 91, for he will conceal me in his shelter on the day of adversity. He will hide me and cover me under the cover of his tent, and he will set me on a high rock. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He will say of my God, he is my refuge and my strength. My God in him will I trust. That Psalm 91 works really well with Psalm 27.5. Lord, hear my voice when I call. Be gracious to me and answer me. And this is what the, the heart of the believer says. My heart says this about you. You are to seek my face. Lord, I will seek your face. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You've been my helper. Do not leave me or abandon me. God of my salvation, even if my mother and father abandon me, the Lord cares for me. Because of my adversaries, because of my enemies, for those who are against me, show me your way, Lord, and lead me on a level path. And 13 and 14, I am certain that I will see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and courageous. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and courageous. That's, there are quite a few verses that tell us to be strong and courageous all through the Bible. And don't fear. And that's a, a good, good theme from the Lord. Psalm 57 is another psalm out of David's prayer journal. Be gracious to me, God. Be gracious to me, for I take refuge in you. I will seek refuge in the shadow of your wings until danger passes. Again, reverting back to Psalm 91 and Psalm 27, verse 5. They're tying together. And it's going to talk about the enemies that are laying wait and are surrounding him. My heart is confident. God, my heart is confident. I will sing. I will sing praises. This is the confidence that we have in the Lord. That in the midst of enemies round about, of adversaries, of those who would love to just destroy us, our heart can be confident in God. And then he goes on to praise. I will sing praises to you among the nation, for your faithful love is as high as the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches the clouds. God be exalted above the heavens. Let your glory be over the whole earth. Psalm 87, the whole psalm is about God loving Zion. I'm just going to read one verse because it's seven verses and it's something you can read yourself. His foundation is on the holy mountains. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. So that's a song of Korah, the sons of Korah.
talking about how God loves Zion. Now, this psalm, I'm going to read the whole thing. Psalm 117. Praise the Lord, all nations. Glorify him, all peoples. His faithful love to us is great. The Lord's faithfulness endures forever. There are various versions of this, but it's the absolute center verse of the Bible. It's in the middle of the Bible. It's in the middle of the number of verses. Psalm 117. It's easy to memorize. Pick a version and commit it to memory. Psalm 147. It's called God Restores Jerusalem. And it does talk about what he has provided. It starts, Hallelujah! How good it is to sing to our God for praise is pleasant and lovely. And then it starts talking, the Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. And then some unique things about God. He counts the number of the stars and he gives names to all of them. Remember, creation sings his praise and night after night utters his wisdom. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving and play the lyre to our God who covers the sky with clouds, prepares rain for the earth, and causes grass to grow on the hills. It goes on on the other, um, the, the rest of it, he sends his command throughout the earth. His word runs swiftly. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. Hallelujah. And this is the time in which all of Israel under David are worshiping, or under David and that, um, that government were on, under God's love. God was showing his love over to them over and specifically than other nations. Proverbs 27, don't boast about tomorrow, for you don't know what the day may bring. Another good one, let another praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger and not your own lips. And then here are three verses that are very interesting that have to do with relationship. Fury is cruel and anger a flood but who can withstand judge jealousy? Better an open reprimand than concealed love. Isn't it better to have someone tell you that they don't like something that's happened? And if someone conceals their love for you, you don't know that they care. The wounds of a friend are trustworthy, but the kisses of an enemy are excessive. Wouldn't you rather hear from a friend that something is wrong or that you are doing something wrong so that you and that friend can reconcile and bind that up. Those are some good verses for that. Oil and incense bring joy to the heart. Sweetness of a friend is better than self-counsel. Well, Sweetness of a friend is definitely better than self-counsel. I would take several of my friends over my own counsel any day. Be wise, my son, and bring my heart joy so that I can answer anyone who taunts me. That's why it's important for the, the son and daughter of, of parents to follow in their, the teachings and to glorify and honor the parents. If one blesses his neighbor with a loud voice early in the morning, it will be counted as a curse to him. Hey, Joe, it's beautiful out here at 4.30 a.m. Well, Joe's not going to respond very well. Iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. When you have a relationship with someone, you can bump up against their their rough spots and they can bump up against yours and smooth each other out. As water reflects the face, so the heart reflects the person.
I thought that was very pretty, very beautiful. Just as water reflects the face, so the heart reflects the person. So the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and give you the peace that passes all understanding. Keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I'll see you next time. Bye.